You know, it may surprise some of you, but I am actually not a big fan of the gratitude challenge. Now that Thanksgiving is over, the real gratitude challenge begins. Stay tuned and let's talk about this. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And today, we'll be talking about gratitude. Real quick, I apologize, my lighting and stuff is not like it should be, because I'm still in California traveling, visiting family, and all that stuff, but I am grateful that I'm even able to make videos while I'm on the road to help all of you out with your mental and emotional health, as well as your addiction recovery. Anyways. Like I was saying, I am not a huge fan of the gratitude challenge. I was like thinking about making this video during the month of November when everybody was like, oh, today I'm grateful for this and day 25, I'm day grateful for that and day 22 and all that other stuff. But I, I'm not a fan of it at all. For some of you who are following me and you know I'm from Las Vegas and when the Las Vegas shooting happened, um, I talked a little bit about this. I don't like how the holidays or tragic events or this time when we're supposed to get together and be grateful for the ones in our life and tell them how much we love them and all this other stuff. I don't believe in that at all. Now that Thanksgiving is over, we need to be grateful a hundred times more every single day when we go out there. It's funny too because last night, the night before Thanksgiving, uh, my nephew, uh, he was talking about, you know, oh, well, no, we have to save uh, our, our thankfulness for tomorrow on Thanksgiving. That's when we're supposed to do it. And it's interesting to me how this is something that young kids are thinking about regularly, like, oh, Thanksgiving is that day that you should be thankful. No, 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 no. Every single day, 365 days a year, we should be grateful for all the things that we, we have. For me, I'm very fortunate to have had such a terrible past uh, growing up uh, the son of an alcoholic, becoming an addict myself, barely surviving my addiction, basically making it with a 10% chance of living. Every single day, I have to be grateful that I even wake up and I'm able to breathe. For me, gratitude is the opposite of entitlement. Entitlement is something that we all suffer from in some way, shape, or form. We feel entitled that we should have a better job or we should be getting paid more for that job or we should have a better car or we should have a better partner. We should have this and should have that. And the reality is we shouldn't have anything. One of the best lessons I learned in life was this world and it's people don't owe me anything. When I was able to get all of those shoulds out of my brain and to stop them from coming out of my mouth, I started to have a lot more gratitude because it got rid of my entitlement. In the world of addiction, something I teach people is that addiction is a disease of more. No matter what we get, we always want more. And that's kind of what Russell Brand talks about too. We always want more. We want something that we feel is going to lead to our happiness or we feel is going to numb that discomfort or that pain. We always want more. But the problem is, is that when we keep wanting more, there's never enough. So gratitude snaps us back to reality and we start being grateful for every little thing that we have. No matter when you're watching this video, this is extremely relevant. Right after this video, and I get it uploaded, I'm actually going to make a video about holiday shopping anxiety. So if you happen to be watching this today on Thanksgiving or any other day, gratitude is gonna help you snap out of that holiday anxiety because you're going to quit worrying so much and be grateful that you actually have the opportunity to go shopping during this time of year. I will also make another video about how the first two Christmases that I got sober, so my first two years sober, I wasn't able to buy my son any presents at all. So when I can snap back to that old frame of mind and look how far that I've come, that I can get my son whatever the heck I feel like now, I get very grateful for something that small. But I hope you watch my other video on how gratitude affects depression and just a little sneak peek at what that is, they have done studies where they have taken two groups of people, had one of them write down gratitude lists every day for two weeks and another one not, and they found the people who were writing gratitude lists every single day 
had decreases in anxiety as well as depression by upwards of 80%. So if that doesn't sell you on this thing called gratitude every day of the year, then I don't know what does. Remember, be grateful for things. And sometimes when you tell them to be grateful or just think of things to be grateful for, it's hard for them. It's very hard. It's really the easiest thing. Right now, for example, I'll name some things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for the ability to wear this sweet shirt. If you can't see it, it says Mo Honey Mo Problems. It has a picture of a bear that looks like Biggie Smalls. It's pretty sick. I'm thankful for the, sh the socks on my feet. I'm not wearing shoes right now. Roof over my head. In the other room, I have my lovely mother in there. I'm grateful that she's sober. She just celebrated 12 years sober. I'm grateful that I have her in my life. In the other room, I have my son, my nephew. I'm grateful that I'm able to be in California. I was able to drive here. Driving is another thing that I'm very, very grateful for. A lot of people hate driving, but anytime I'm in that car, I'm grateful, whether I'm stuck in traffic or whether I have to drive across town because I was on the bus for two years. And I have to remember that every time I'm stuck in traffic or every time I'm trying to fight somebody for a parking spot in a packed uh, parking lot, I'm grateful that I even have a car today because that's not something I used to have. So remember, now that Thanksgiving's over, the real gratitude challenge has happened. You need to try to stay grateful 365 days a year because I guarantee it'll help with anxiety, depression, as well as your outlook on life. So again, I hope you all have had a good holiday so far. I hope some of my holiday videos have helped you. If you have not seen yet, please, please, please check out my Mentally Healthy Holidays playlist. It is all the stuff you need to get through the holidays. And if there's any subjects I have not touched on yet, please leave them down in the comments below. Let me know what kind of issues you struggle with during the holidays so I can provide more videos to help you out. You are the reason that I've made this entire channel. So please give me information that'll help you out. All right, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, click the little round subscribe button right below this box. I'm always making videos to help you with your mental and emotional health as well as addiction recovery. And don't forget to click or tap on one of those thumbnails. Check out some of the other amazing videos on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.